Have you ever thought about why getting ready for exams feels like trying to climb Mount Everest with no equipment? It's a challenge lots of us deal with. The pressure of deadlines coming closer, the time slipping away quickly, things distracting us from focusing, and the frustration when we can't remember what we just read. It's like a fight, a serious challenge. But what if I let you know that there are ways backed by science that can help you study more efficiently and feel less stressed? Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. I'm here to help you become a better learner. And before we dive into this method, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Research has given us some really cool insights into how the brain works when we're studying and trying to retain things. It's kind of like having a special pass to see what's happening behind the scenes in your very own rock concert, where the stars of the show are the brain cells and the music is the knowledge. So let's dive right into it. First off, there's something called spaced repetition. Imagine you're making a trail through a thick forest. If you walk on the same path again and again, it eventually becomes clear and easy to follow. That's the basic idea behind spaced repetition. When we review information at different times over a period, our brain strengthens the paths that help us remember that info. It's like your brain saying, hey, this seems important, let's remember it. Then there's active recall. This is all about pulling information from your memory without looking at your notes. It's like a workout for your brain at the gym. The more you exercise your brain by recalling stuff, the better your memory gets. It's not about reading your notes over and over. It's about closing the book and trying to remember what you've learned. It's a bit tough, but it really works. And don't forget about interleave learning. Instead of just focusing on one subject for a long time, this method suggests switching between topics. It's like trying a bit of everything at a buffet. It keeps things interesting and helps you see how different ideas fit together. It might sound strange, but research shows that it can really help you learn more. These things spaced, repetition, active recall, and interleaved learning aren't just fancy terms. They're based on how our brain works and have been proven to work super well. They're like the secret recipe for successful studying. Now that we know how our brain learns, let's figure out how to use this knowledge to study smarter, not harder. Ready to tilt the odds in your favor? Check out these science-supported study tips. Let's begin with making a study plan. You know how important organization is for success, and that's especially true when it comes to studying. A study schedule isn't just a timetable, it's a smart plan. By planning when you'll study, you're setting a clear path to your learning goals. This keeps you on track and also reduces stress and anxiety. The reason behind this is simple. Our brains love structure. A well-organized plan triggers the release of dopamine, a chemical that boosts motivation and focus. Now let's talk about the Pomodoro Technique. This technique involves studying for 25 minutes and then taking a 5 minute break. You do this 4 times and then you take a longer break. Research shows that regular breaks like this really improve focus and how much you remember. It's like giving your brain a little rest so it can get ready for more studying. Taking breaks leads us to our next point, learning in pieces. Our brains can't absorb information all the time. They need time to process and remember new stuff. That's why breaking your study time into smaller parts can really help. This approach called chunking is supported by a lot of research on how our minds work. Moving on to mnemonic devices. These are techniques that help us remember things by connecting them to easy to remember stuff like acronyms, pictures, or rhymes. Mnemonic devices work because our brains naturally like patterns and connections, making it easier to remember hard stuff. Lastly, there's active recall. This means getting information from your memory instead of just reading your notes again. Active recall is one of the best ways to study, proven by lots of research. It makes the connections in your brain stronger, so you can remember things better when you need them. Think of it like testing yourself, where you're both the student and the teacher. These are just a few of the research-backed study tricks out there. They might seem simple, but they're really powerful. When you use them right, they can change how you study, making them more effective, less stressful, and even fun. Remember, it's not about how much time you spend studying, but how well you use that time. So let's quickly go over what we've learned today. First off, we agreed that studying can be really tough. We all have our own challenges, like too much stuff to learn, putting things off, or not feeling motivated. 
It's important to recognize these difficulties so we can deal with them. Next, we got into the cool science of studying. We figured out how our brain handles and remembers information and how we can use this knowledge to study better. We learned about active recall, spaced repetition, and interleaved learning. Knowing how our brain works can make studying work better for us. Finally, we checked out some practical study tricks that can help with the problems we face. We talked about making study plans, how to use the Pomodoro technique, chunking, mnemonic devices, and active recall to keep our minds sharp. Remember, it's not about working harder, it's about working smarter. With these study tips, you're ready to beat any exam that comes your way. Have a great time studying. Thanks for spending some time with me. I'm so glad you did. If you found value in this video, please give a like and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.